Am I the jerk for not attending my sister's wedding because of her treatment of my partner? My 28 female sister, Emily, 32 female, is getting married next month. We've always had a close relationship, but things have become strained since I started dating my partner, Alex, 30 male, two years ago. Emily has never liked Alex. She claims he's too different from our family and often makes snide comments about his career as a tattoo artist. Alex is a wonderful person and treats me with so much love and respect. Emily's dislike of Alex became more apparent during family gatherings. She would often exclude him from conversations, make jokes at his expense, and even went as far as to say he wasn't good enough for me. I tried talking to her about it multiple times, but she would dismiss my concerns, saying she was just being protective. When Emily sent out wedding invitations, I noticed that Alex's name was not on mine. I confronted her about it, and she said she didn't want Alex at her wedding because she felt he would ruin the atmosphere and make people uncomfortable. I was hurt and angry. Alex is a huge part of my life, and her refusal to include him felt like a personal attack. I told Emily that if Alex wasn't welcome, then I wouldn't be attending either. She was furious and accused me of trying to run her special day out of spite. Our parents are split on the issue. My mom thinks I should attend to keep the peace, while my dad supports my decision to stand by Alex. The tension in the family is high, and I'm starting to question if I'm overreacting. Emily has tried to guilt trip me by saying that I'm putting my relationship over family and that I'll regret not being at her wedding. So Reddit, am I a jerk for not attending my sister's wedding because she refuses to invite my partner? Now for the top comments. You have to make a stand at some point. Ask your mom, why can't Emily keep the peace for once? Emily and mom need to get on board that Alex will probably be part of the family dynamic in the future and they need to prepare themselves for that eventuality. While Emily, and possibly your mom, wish the relationship will go sideways, they need to accept that it might last and risk you going low contact or no contact at some point in the future. Beautifully put and seconded, Sis is only mad because now she faces consequences of her meanness. I have to think on some level she knew that. If Obi caved and went without Alex to keep the peace, goodness, I am starting to hate that phrase. People might ask why he wasn't there, and OP would be forced into an awkward position, having to answer that over and over. All the while, she is gloating, figuring that OP will lie so as not to ruin her sister's special day. What are the choices here? 1. OP goes, lies, and feels doubly awful for lying and leaving Alex behind. 2. OP goes and tells the truth, resulting in drama. Sis throws a fit, family is split, and OP faces rubbish for months despite the fact all she did was say what really happened. I would suspect even just saying he wasn't invited would do this because then Sis might get questioned, and then just upset when she finds out OP told the truth. 3. OP doesn't go, so she doesn't feed into her sister's meanness, arrogance, and narcissism. She feels good about herself for choosing to support her partner and not giving in to keep the peace. The peace wouldn't be kept, would it? All that would happen is that Sis would get what she wants and gloat, watching OP be at her wedding alone. Then it's back to business, as usual, with her being the right witch to oppose OP and Alex, then gaslighting her when she gets upset. OP, your sister is 32 years old, for F's sake. This is some high school level BS. Sis is a closed-minded muppet and needs to be faced with the aftermath 
her behavior causes, not the jerk. You and Alex should plan a trip to the nearest resort three or four days, two days before and two after. Turn off the phone. Disable the tracking apps. Just go and celebrate each other. That is, unless there is a tattoo convention somewhere, then go to that. Your mom is an idiot. She should have told your sister to invite your partner to keep the peace. Other families will ask the reasonable person to acquiesce to pacify the unreasonable one with this keep the peace BS. And it is some of the most toxic dribble you'll ever encounter. Your sister has made a choice, and now you get to make one too. In your place, I would cut her out permanently. This just isn't the kind of thing I would forgive. But you do you. Not the jerk, of course. And keeping the peace doesn't work. The golden child, meanie, screaming nut, or whatever, just becomes more like themselves. And soon you have a vicious dictator on your hands who'll blow up at the slightest reason. I know. Not the jerk. Your sister is the jerk for putting you in this position, though. You're going to have to seriously think about your priorities here. Who do you plan to spend the rest of your life with? Who's dispensable? Because it looks like you're going to lose either your sister or Alex. Your sister is making you choose. And I doubt Alex's feelings won't be hurt if you go without him. Mine sure as hell would be. You have to take a stand. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.